What's up, guys? Yo, what here? We're gonna make some uh, another effect scroll. I made a similar one uh, in earlier in the series, but uh, I'm gonna do it again. It's a preset that I made earlier, and I'm just gonna show you how I did it. It's just uh, one oscillator, actually, so it's quite simple. And it's also important um, the the gross beat that I put on it. This is a one on third beat gate. So basically, if I click on this, you can see that it basically steals away, turns down the volume all the way, every third uh, beat. And um, I'll just now quickly go to how um, this sound is sounding. And I'll first show you. That's it. And uh, without, uh, oh, where the hell did my, oh, there it goes. Um, without gross beat, it sounds like this. Not very interesting yet, so I'm gonna change that now. Um, what I did is just uh, while well you can, uh, you know, ignore the the octave, it's just one lower. We actually want to have it on a very low octave. Uh, slight detune, two voices, retrigger, saw wave, um, envelope. We have uh, a lot of uh, attack actually, a little bit of sustain and uh, uh, decay sorry and uh, sustain and then almost no uh, release so it just immediately cut off you can also put uh, delay on it again and reverb you know like how i uh, showed you in other videos all this standard stuff you can add it on uh, just to make it sound better i uh, actually i did this uh, already in um what is it uh, silent a bit of distortion as well just to make basically the distortion will just you know create more harmonics and disharmonics around the uh, initial harmonics that are there and we'll just you know create a bit of warmer sound um, then I have a lot of resonance usually very important because this gives this talkative um, sound to uh, basically to your synthesizer so always use a lot of res resonance if you want to have those typical uh, wow wow sounds you know uh, low pass filter with a 24 db cut so it's gonna be quite soft and then all the way up uh, cut off uh, a b it's not necessary to have a b just that you can use an a because there's only part a and that part b is empty basically as you can see it's not uh, anything worth it and then uh, a very uh, long uh, release uh, to be honest I'm not really sure what I did here but usually just do it by ear and just fiddle around to get it right but when I wanted to show you I'll um, have this uh, preset uh, for download so you can just download it and then we're gonna now further enhance it so I want to have the cutoff working so we're gonna create an automation clip And then we have a, we're gonna open it and then close it again. So we'll get this. And it's sounding already better. As I said, it sounds similar to the other one, but what we're gonna do now is a gross beat on it and then have it first turned off. And I'm also gonna create an automation clip for this. And then on the end, I wanna have it play that it's gonna create this teka 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 effect which I'm gonna show you right now that basically maybe a bit extreme and you just really need to work around with these settings to you know basically get it right because uh, it's you know a lot of fiddling to get it right and that's uh, already sounding better and you can use other settings for this as well it's the one on fourth beat you can one or two and uh, maybe a bit too much the one on one beat so we'll just do every second beat so you don't really it's a bit too much but the higher ones usually work better and the one on three is nice because uh, 
basically it's every time an off uh, beat it will steal it and it just sounds nicer it creates a bit more funk but gross beat in general is a really nice plugin for these things i use it a lot also just for side chaining or um, you have this time thing that works that basically repeats the synth as you can see and you can just like you know edit it in and just create all kinds of cool sounds um, you have speeding up you have gates in it um, all kind of cool things and you can automate the volume as well so you don't have to have it working all the time because it's a bit extreme but in this way you can just get the best of both worlds and there you have it it's quite cool now uh, you can use this and fatten it up you know like so have a second frequency uh, what is it a, a second oscillator just with a square wave for example see how that sounds much louder but um, yeah you can definitely create all kinds of cool things with it um, also don't be afraid to fiddle around with the envelopes see how it sounds without the release just a bit different uh, another thing that you definitely always can use is uh, bit reduction I recommend the CMT I'm um, actually looking for another one see if, if there's any other out there that will be nice but uh, I really like the CMT. Here it is. And then I like the setting uh, 3. 4 is also nice. Uh, it's a bit harsher. And 3 is this. And it's still subtle enough to really not overpower everything. But if you do it much more, it will just be too distorted to really recognize it. Even though it can be cool, I mean, something like this, it's not really that uh, shit sounding. So, uh, yeah, definitely don't be shy to use that. Um, what other things can we use on it? Um, I am going to make another tutorial to show you Patcher. Patcher is a really cool uh, plugin where you can basically uh, insert a lot of cool plugins. Here, open. Um, you can just uh, I'm not really sure how it works uh, I've used it a few times but I always forget and then you could just add uh, uh, plugins and then link them to each other and have a different plugin or dis uh, different uh, effects working in different ways but we'll do it another time so uh, I'll probably do the next video so uh, stay tuned uh, other cool things are the grain delays or grain uh, what is it Granny laters, how, however you want to call them. There's a bit less, uh, what is it, grains. It's very, uh, very, very present. Well, maybe not that many, just a bit more subtle. and flangers are always very nice uh, to create a psychedelic effect I'm actually also looking for a better one because I don't really like the ones from Apple Studio that much but they're still quite nice to uh, create quick effects so definitely don't disregard them you know, don't disregard them they're, they're definitely worth looking into that's uh, about it so uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching this video I hope it was useful and uh, I hope to see you next time so uh, stay tuned alright bye guys